Um, I've gotten a lot of messages, a lot of questions um, about my post from this morning, so I figured it would be better to go live and that way y'all can get it. <laughs> these energies. We started yesterday, day before yesterday, that evening I had made a post about, about a huge release with and, and that the masculine essence, if you will, is going through a lot of um, releasing and and stuff of mommy issues and and feminine issues with any feminine essence, if you will, and and with the infusion yesterday of these of the third infusion of this equinox energies. What is going to happen if you're not already feeling? It, you're really going to start feeling it this. And it's going to end the intensity of what's happening in the masculine that have not been able to, to, to fully open their hearts and to fully trust and, and allow themselves to be vulnerable, if you will. Remember, the masculine have been enslaved in, to not feel, to hide their emotions, that, it's, that it was a weakness. And so what's happening now is the energies are pushing them to be released and that the in, in most intense moment for this will be tomorrow and with this release it is also being this masculine energy that is needing to be released is being released from the earth you got you have a lot of chaotic unstable weather you have a lot of chaotic turbulent unstable emotions and and that's what this is. A lot of you are feeling this underneath anger, this wanting to claw somebody's eyes out, if you will, type of feelings. You feel like you're about you're a volcano about to erupt. Sweet ones, you allow yourselves to erupt. If you will, those feelings to release. Hello, sweethearts. Um, hello, Adela. Allow these energies to be released. Just know that you control the eruption and the flow of that lava. Um, if you will. It is, it is a necessary purging. These energies are giving a lot of people a lot of um, their heart in their chest cavity. Your chest cavities are being expanded as your heart is, is being opened, if you will. Um, feels like somebody may be sitting, like you're having a heart attack. Somebody's sitting on your chest, breathing is hard. Um, may, uh, many of you can be, will be feeling, or if you haven't, or have, on the right side of your body, a lot of uh, burning, a lot of stabbing pain, a lot of discomfort, if you will, from, from up here down to about the rib cages. That's completely normal. That is the masculine side of your body. Um... The false masks, the um, all of it, the codependency attachments, cords, especially in the masculine essences that has not been dealt with. Those things, those cords have been cut. They have been disconnected from the 3D grid. With that, that's the discomfort in this side of the body. Also, with that comes again releasing of and transforming of these energies. That are arising when you disconnect from anything. Um, allow yourself to love the rises. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. No, Della, you're so beautiful. You all are. And, and, and don't judge what's arising, sweet ones. A lot of these, you know, again, just as hard as it was when, with the feminine, when we were, we were integrating the feminine essence mm -hmm. it is challenging I, don't know, I shouldn't use the word hard I mean, it's challenging it was for all of us to integrate the feminine divine energies to allow energies to rise in us this is the same thing again only from the masculine with masculine essence the masculine energies and again you know we all have a lot of varied stuff it has been a very challenging 
journey for the masculine embodiments because this life you know in every lifetime in the in, in this patriarchal era that they have shut down and have shut down their emotions their feelings they had to be tough they had to be hard they had to be the man if you will and and so it's very challenging for, for them to fully trust the divine it is very challenging for them to allow them to be vulnerable and to be that vulnerable. Hello, Lisette. How are you doing, beautiful? And and that's what this last infusion of this equinox energy is doing. It's very cracking open the masculine part. And with that, and, and I'm going to direct this at everybody, but especially the feminine embodiments, this is a this is a moment where you have got to set aside any hurt that you have not dealt with and deal with it. Do not project it out onto the masculine. If you are being triggered in any way, shape, or form, observe yourself and make sure you do not. Because when the masculine, I'm going to tell you all this. And from the human perspective, when the masculine does step out into his comfort into that uncomfortable zone. When the masculine does allow himself to become vulnerable or emotional in front of you, it is a natural tendency, if you have not healed aspects within yourself, for you to react and shut that masculine, and that masculine shut down again right away. At this point, in this space and energies, it is crucial. For you to be that love, to be that calm, to be that nurturing, divine, feminine energy for him. This is going to be intense. And again, everything starts on energetic level and works it that way down to the physical. But you also are, are all aware that manifestation is, 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 there's no gap there anymore. So these energies are going to really become to the forefront, sweet ones. And, and really stay in your heart and, and stay in that place of, of peace and calm and really allow if you are in a relationship of really if this if these energies you are experiencing any kind of anything with with any other I'm stumbling on my work me um really how in your life to be vulnerable if that's what he needs. Be there for him. Nurture him through this and know that he is not alone. Just as it, we have all gone through intense periods of releasing and purging and transforming of energies, I can't say it's easier or more graceful for the Divine Feminine. It's not been an easy, graceful journey. They've been intense journeys to get to that gracefulness and easiness and that gentle. So really this is a big step for humanity in all ways energetically with this release of the of these energies and, and I really encourage all of you now to drink to really be there. As the masculine releases all this pent up energy, pent up anger, pent up hurt, pent up everything. And really Allow them to open up to you. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing, beautiful Teresa? And really allow them that nurturing that they need at this at this at this space that we're going through. Um, and again, love yourself through this. If anything is being triggered in any of you, dig deeper. Nothing is being done to you. You are you are releasing cellular memory that no longer needs to be in your memory so love your devs through sweet ones find them in a moment and to all you divine masculine i love you you are not alone in this you need to reach out i am here however i'm not a punching bag just please keep that in mind but i'll be a shoulder for you and i will hold space for you because it will be intense And this will, you will 
will come out of this every being on this planet will come out of this evolved more away or in in love. Don't even how is this gonna affect the divine twin flames? Sweet ones, I'm not gonna affect the twin flames. However, I will say this. You are gonna those of you in twin flames twin soul relationship are gonna find that um uh, if you are separated you will be coming back into union. I'm not giving you a time because everybody's on their own level and, and on their own journey. But reunion is imminent. It is here and and again love yourself through it. Step into Oh, I guess they're talking in the house. I guess I'm going in the house. And, and really, um, hold space for the divine masculine through this. And this goes through for the divine feminine that are embodied as, as a feminine form. Again, you're also going to be accepts, ex affected by this energy because you all hold masculine and feminine energy. So allow yourself to flow through these energies. Make sure you ground and breathe your breath get you through everything sweet ones breathe just take a moment and breathe and again i'm here for you if you guys need me i love you all i'm holding you in eternal magic because magic is in the air and i am holding you in eternal peace grace love abundance prosperity have a magical magical day sweet ones i love you bye bye now